Okay, so keto low carb bagels. All right, for all of us that are hooked on our carbs, our breads, here's an alternative. All right, so what we're gonna do first is take three cups of mozzarella cheese, okay? So measured it out, we've got three cups, okay? So we've got three cups of mozzarella cheese and I've got two ounces of cream cheese here, okay? So we're gonna pop this in the microwave for two minutes. We wanna let it melt down, okay? So I'm gonna run over to the microwave and pop it in for two minutes. Okay, so while that's in there, you are going to take one and three fourths cup of almond flour. Okay, so one and three fourths cup almond flour and one tablespoon of baking powder. Of course, you want to make sure that it's gluten free. There we go. So, one tablespoon. And let me mix that up real quick. And then we are going to add two whole eggs to this as well. Okay. So let's mix the dry ingredients first. tablespoon of baking powder. Okay, I'm gonna run and check on my cheese, okay? Just a sec. all that steam we want it nicely melted okay so we kind of have to do this a little quickish yeah and let me finish mixing my eggs with the almond flour and the baking powder okay so I don't know if you guys can see that all right so now to this, I'm going to add my cream cheese and my mozzarella cheese. Oh, that is such gooey loveliness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I honestly, people say, oh my gosh, you're on a diet. Oh yes, that's the oven. Preheat it to 350 degrees and line a baking, um, a baking pan with parchment paper. Okay, so now I am mixing all my ingredients together. Okay. And we wanna make sure that it's thoroughly mixed, okay? And as you can imagine, because the cheeses kind of melt together, kind of clumps up, yeah? But we don't wanna get discouraged Fold it in, beautiful, get your hands dirty. Okay. There we go. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. Keep going. 
So, okay, what am I doing here? I've got some melted mozzarella cheese mixed with some Philly cream cheese. I have a one and three fourths cup of almond flour with one tablespoon of baking powder, two whole eggs, and mixing this thoroughly to make my bagel dough. Okay. And you don't want it to be too sticky. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna have to do this by hand and get my hands all dirty and uh, up in this. Okay, let me just wet my hands with cold water real quick. Okay. I'm like tempted to lick this. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Sometimes we really have to put our hands into it. So you want to keep kind of kneading this dough to thoroughly mix everything. Okay. Okay, you want it to hold its form, okay? You don't want it too sticky. And once you have it to the right consistency, then you're going to divide the dough, okay? Kind of getting there. Okay. Actually, yeah. Let me... Now, I'm a nurse by trade, and I am such, I, I don't know, about, see, like, this is driving me crazy. Oop, I just flicked some over there. <laughs> I'm so tempted to wash my hands right now, but I know I need to wait just a bit. Okay, this is getting there. Okay, a little bit more. Perfect. Okay. That is, okay, so I'm patting it, it's not sticking. Okay, good deal, let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna take the dough and divide it. Let's see, okay, you guys can see there. Take a glob, divide it in half, and then half again. And you're gonna basically make them into a shape of a bagel. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but so round and a little dot, there you go, just like so. Put it down, okay, take some more, okay, again, repeat, kind of in the center, I want a nice little hole, set it down, okay, perfect. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, okay? It's all good. And if you don't want to put a hole in the middle, let's say if you want like a burger bun or something, you don't have to put a hole in the middle. There we go. Okay. There we go. And again, we're gonna put, preheat the oven for 350 degrees. And we're gonna bake about 15 minutes, okay? 
And then after 15 minutes, you're gonna broil for one minute to make it nice and brown on top. Okay. Last one. You know what, I'm gonna leave this one flat as a little muffin for tomorrow. Here we go. All right, let me wash my hands. see those beautiful method uh, bagels to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black seeds and put it over one of my bagels to make this one a black seeded bagel. And I'm gonna take some toasted sesame seed, of course, top it with whatever you like, you know? Make them individual, there you go. And then I cannot believe I ran out of pink Himalayan salt. So what I'm gonna do is use this kosher um, sea salt, but this is ghost chili, okay? So I'm gonna sprinkle that over this one. Okay, oops, of course I just did that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some freeze-dried strawberries and top a couple more. Now, I did crush this for a different recipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that over this one. Okay, and then, let's see. What do I want, what do I want? Let me do this one over here with some black. I might as well. If you wanted to put some like grated Parmesan cheese, some, what else? Think of the bagels you buy at the store. You can top it with anything, yeah? Don't worry, this is yours. Okay, there we go. All of my bagels are topped. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. timer for 15 minutes okay so once the 15 minutes are uh, up I am going to then switch the oven over to broil for one minute and then once that's done I pull them out let them cool and that's it shall we check the bagels hold on all right Look at these. Not bad, huh? Okay. So again, those are pretty hot. Baked them for 15 minutes, boiled it actually for two minutes to get it nice and toasty and brown on top. There you go. So I'm gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit and then I'm gonna slice one and put some more cream cheese in the middle and devour it.